The Delta S uh, pull down faucet with added touch control brings a lot of flexibility to the kitchen with a long reaching sprayer and a wide array of helpful features such as the LED temperature indicator and magnetic docking. The faucet is definitely something to consider. Welcome to Sunday Kitchen Faucet Series. Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Shudit Kitchen Faucet Series. My name is Ben Nguyen and today we're taking a look at the Delta S uh, Touch 2 single handle pull down kitchen faucet from Delta Faucet. More specifically, we'll delve into certain aspects of design and craftsmanship and examine distinct details of the product. We also talk about the good and the bad in our experience with the faucet from the first steps of installation to the operation around the touch control. But first, we want to be clear about our assessment process. What we're aiming for here is to draw up unbiased reviews across our kitchen process series. As such, ratings are given to three main parts, design, usability, and performance, as we standardize our routine for every faucet. In design, we focus on the general appearance of the body and the sprayer head of each faucet, like the quality of the function button or how the next swivels, for example. In usability, we highlight the interactions around the setup of the faucets and how they control water, how the sprayer maneuvers. For example, the flexibility of movement or, if available, the practicality of electronic features. Finally, its faucet's performance under low water pressure is also taken into account to finalize our verdict. More information about process can be found in this video right here. Now let's take a quick look at the product. This is a fully rotating single handle faucet with a detachable sprayer head. This version of the SR features touch to all technology that allows for water control via touch. It also has an LED at the base that changes color according to water temperature in the mixer. The faucet is about 16 inches high and 8.5 and inches wide and it can be installed in a one hole or three hole scenarios. Now let's take a look closer at the design. If you're a fan of minimalistic aesthetics, the SR is definitely a looker. The faucet's modern and inconspicuous design won't be the focal point of the kitchen, but it easily blends in with a variety of interior styles and unseemingly fills up the space. Not only the high quality appearance with attention to detail adds a sense of sophistication to the faucet's surroundings, it also reflects the quality of its craftsmanship. The faucet comes in a range of finishes including chrome, matte black, arctic stainless, champagne bronze, and Venetian bronze. The faucet sprayer has a relatively long reach at 30 inches and two standard water modes which are streaming and spraying. The faucet also has magnetic docking that holds the sprayer tight when it's retracted which is a highly appreciated feature. Plus, the way the magnetic force is utilized is very clever and intuitive. Now you may notice the lack of a ball joint on the sprayer, which may suggest decreased flexibility. While that's true, the manholes is flexible enough that the movement of the sprayers feels unaffected. However, there's one issue we have with the design of the sprayer, which is the awkward leveling of the rocker switch. Unfortunately, putting a damper on the whole premium feel. Generally speaking, the SR Tetsuo is a solid kitchen faucet with effective features and a durable build. 
the dense construction materials combined with a long-lasting diamond seal mixing valve should provide excellent values over the long run. With everything considered, the Fawcett scores 8.9 out of 10 for design. In terms of user experience, the faucet is everything you would expect from a well-made, reliable pull-down faucet. But it's not perfect, so let's talk about the pros and the cons. A smooth movement all across the board from the flexible low-reaching spray head to the 360-degree rotating body and a single handle. Everything feels tight and secure. The Touch 2O technology adds touch control to the mix, which lets you turn the water on or off without actually touching the handle. This helps when your hands are messy and you don't want to smear the faucet with them. Now one thing to note about Touch 2O is if somehow the touch control malfunctions or runs out of power, you can still use the faucet via the handle. An LED at the base of the faucet shows the water temperature by changing colors blue for cold, magenta for warm, and red for hot. And the faucet also has an auto shut off features to prevent water wastage from accidental activation and such. As for cons, the learning curve of the touch control, the lack of weight on the retraction, and the complex installation setup are the few drawbacks about the faucet. While the feel of the faucet's control and movement gradually gets better, the numerous mounting and electronic components may intimidate those with little experience. For those reasons, the SA Touch 2O received 8.3 out of 10 for usability. Performance-wise, you can expect the SA to work best between 50 and 80 PSI like most Delta Faucet kitchen spouts. If water pressure gets between 40 and 50 PSI, which is the premise for our low pressure test, you start to see dripping more often. That's why the faucet scored only 5 out of 10 for the test. With wide utility, the Delta SR Touch 2O Pundal Kitchen Faucet should be a sophisticated addition to any home. Aside from features like a long reaching sprayer and magnetic docking, the faucet also includes touch control and LED temperature indicator. Certain details, such as the sprayer button's awkward design and the sensitivity of touch control could be improved, but they're not necessarily deal breakers. All in all, the Delta SR Touch 2O with an 8.2 final rating is not perfect, but it is a solid option to keep in mind. And that's it for this review video. If you want to find more information about the Delta SR Touch 2O, try googling our Should It Kitchen Process series. Click like if you've been enjoying the video and consider subscribing and donating to show your support. Thanks for watching Shoot It and we'll see you in the next one.